Cabinet Secretary for Foreign Affairs, Amina Mohammed, says that it is the worldwide trend to explore emerging markets in order to remain competitive and relevant in the global economic market. While speaking to ambassadors and high commissioners at a Nairobi hotel, Amina says Kenya, like any other country, will shift its attention to the eastern market and look for new trading partners, but reiterated that this should not hamper diplomatic relations with the West. And as Aaron Ocheng reports, the Jubilee government pledged to engage more with the East is starting to shape up as President Uhuru Kenyatta plans to make a trip next week to Japan. Upon President Uhuru Kenyatta's election victory, the Chinese government sent a special envoy from Beijing to congratulate Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto. Makofi. The special envoy was also present during the inauguration ceremony. The writing was on the wall, and it was clear that the Uhuru administration was more than comfortable to engage with the Asian economic giant trade-wise than the West, which had expressed its reservations on working with them based on the ICC indictment on the president and his deputy. We'd like to go into a few sessions. And so today, Kenya's top diplomat, Tamina Mohammed, made it official that Kenya's Western trend was changing eastwards. It's important as we grow that we explore cooperation with other economies. Those in Eastern Europe, in Asia, in the Middle East, and in Latin America. And also Amina carefully chose her words not to agitate the Western diplomats who were meeting her for the first time in her new capacity. She made sure that she does not burn her bridges just in case the East does not meet her expectations. It has nothing to do uh, with just Kenya. It doesn't have anything to do with just Africa. But in fact that is a product of globalization. And it brought all of us together. It has increased competition among states. The ICC cases facing the president and his deputy has been the turnaround in Kenya's relations with the Western countries. But Uhuru and Ruto have kept their heads up and made it clear from the word go that Kenya will go ahead with or without the Western aid. We must remember that no country or group of countries should have control or monopoly on international institutions or the interpretation of international treaties. It was said choices have consequences and that if you vote for Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto, there would be consequences. Look at what happened. President Uhuru Kenyatta heads to China later this month for a week-long trip in what is believed to be strengthening ties with the Eastern Economic Tiger, and one that will prove that indeed Kenya will after all depend heavily on the Eastern countries than it has done before. Aaron Ochen, KTN.